Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. Now, Elijah Moore is someone that I have been a, a, a critic of for the last couple of weeks because I've been watching his tape and he just hasn't stood out to me as someone that I think could just be a superstar in this league. And I think he has some of the physical tools, but I just wasn't seeing it on tape, especially from the games I was watching. I think I was watching a, another one of his games where he ended up getting he ended up getting laid out. You know, he got a concussion because someone basically just clocked him in the head and he ended up going out. Uh, I also saw him not really trying and blocking situations. So it just made it seem like he was a guy that really didn't care, a guy that, that, that might not be able to translate to a game where he's playing against bigger and stronger people because he doesn't look like he wants to be physical. And those are pretty much my, those are pretty much my cons for him. As I watch more and as I see more and more games of him, he starts to, he's starting to stand out to me a little bit more. I don't have him as a first rounder. PFF has him as the fourth best receiver in this draft. I think that's shenanigans. I think there's no way and, and no how that he's better than Rashad Bateman. But that's my that's just my opinion. But I do think that he, he's, a, he's a really good prospect and he's a guy that probably could go in the second round. But Elijah Moore is about 5'9", 188, something like that. Uh, I was also kind of tired of, of having these small slot receivers in here. I, I, you know, I wanted my slot receiver the next one after Shepard, if he ends up leaving, to be, you know, over six feet. As, you know, just small things like that. So I didn't necessarily like him as a fit for my team for the Giants. Elijah Moore is starting to stand out to me. And, and, and it's just plays like this that just got my attention. I'll show you this first one here. You got Elijah Moore here and... I didn't see a lot of the speed on the first couple of games that I watched. When the speed shows up, man, it finally shows up. He's going to run a slant here, and it's just really just mostly speed that gets him open here. So you're going to just see him take this vertical, and because of the defender, because of, the, because of his speed, the defender has to account for that vertical route. And he's just, you know, nothing special. And if you look at this a little bit, a little bit deeper, He's possibly setting this, setting this defender up for a, a rocker step. This is something that he does a lot. He's possibly, you know, setting a defender up for a sluggo route, which I think he ended up doing later on in this game or early on in this game. It kind of looks like it could be a sluggo, so the defender isn't biting down too hard on the slant when he does make this, make this cut. And he just takes this inside, and there's not much you can do. And this was my concern. Will he make these kinds of catches? Will he make these kinds of catches in the NFL? From this play, it shows me that he can make these catches in traffic. He can make these catches in traffic. He wasn't scared. He didn't get blown up. If this would have connected, he would have had a lot of potential to get blown up. In fact, the defender got blown up by his own guy. These are the plays that I wanted to see from him, and, and this is what I'm seeing. This is a really nice route right here from a really nice play. Not a, a real flashy route, but I'm just going to just show off my speed here and just make a nice catch in traffic. All right, now in this particular play, you got Elijah Moore at number eight at the bottom of your screen. Now, he is that kind of do-it-all purpose receiver that, that there's so much of him in the league right now, I can't even count. If this dude ended up on the 49ers, that would probably be a nightmare. But uh, I don't I don't think he'll end up on the 49ers the way his draft stock is, is set up. I don't think he'll last that long. He is a guy that, that can do all of these jet sweeps and, and all everything like that. You know, maybe even the Rams will be interested because they do a lot of that. He's basically like a Curtis Samuel or a Randall Cobb. He's just going to take this handoff right here. And right here, more than anything, you just see the speed that he has. You just see the speed and, and the vision. I mean, it doesn't take much vision because this this hole is, is, is huge. You can drive a, a motorcycle through this hole. So doesn't take much vision, but you see the speed that he's just going to leave this guy and just get some yards out of it. Nothing special, just showing you that he can do this. So I'll say this is the play that really made me think that, that he really had some juice. So he's just going to run a hitch route right here, and it just shows the, the fear <laughs> that he just placed in his defender's heart right here. He's scared that he scared him to, to the deepest core of his soul. And I'll just show you this route here at the top. It just shows the speed that he has 
that he's able to stop right here. Now, we had a, a physical freak in New York with Odell Beckham Jr. Because he's he's running at this speed and he's just turning around flat. He's not stutter stepping. He's not doing anything to turn around. He's just turning around on one step, which is is pretty much uncoverable. He takes a couple of steps and he just turns around, which gets him open. And this is this is a play that that could be completed. I think already someone else has the ball, but it just shows, man. Like, wow. Like to 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 put this much fear in this defender, and I don't know who it looks like a dude. It looks like the size of a linebacker covering him, but that's that's a nice route, man. That's a really nice route, and that's going to get open against pretty much anybody because they're going to play off of him because he does have that that speed. And with him being able to turn around like this out of a break, being able to get out of these breaks pretty fast, pretty fast, I mean, that's going to help him a lot. So we're going to watch here how he attacks this zone. He's going to basically turn this into sort of a, a you usually see C routes go to the outside, but he kind of turns this into a C route right here and ends up, you know, turning back inside here. It really, it really, the way he ran this route set up the safety set up this, uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is a safety here, really set this guy up for, you know, being out of position. And it, it's all because of the way he ran the route, not necessarily the play design, but just the play he ran the route, which is going back to, to just Giants fans or anybody's fans who complain about your offensive coordinator, the routes that your offensive coordinator designs, they can be non, they can be bad, they can be pl bad play design, but receivers can be so good that they run the routes in a way that get them open. We'll watch right here of Eliza Moore right here in the slot towards the top of the screen. He's in the slot. And he's going to take this vertically, but not necessarily vertically in a way that it is straight straight up, but kind of like he's heading towards right where the five and the zero are. That's where he takes off towards. And as soon as you see him start to do that, watch how your safety right here at the top of your screen or at, at the right in front of Elijah Moore. Watch how he has his left foot behind his right foot. So he's turning to to maintain that I can't let this guy get to the 50 because if I don't open my hips and turn right here and he gets to that 50 yard line and he catches the football, that's a house call. That's a house call. No one's running him down if he can get behind me. He turns his hips just for that second for him to sink his hips right here and you see the safety still is scared of him coming back outside because this would be a nasty route if he was to take this back vertical because that'd be definitely sick. But he's still concerned about going to the outside. And he just drops his hip, Eliza Moore, and is just able to just make a, a smooth transition into the second part of his route and just turn this into a routine, easy catch. Now, if he did not run the route this way, if he just ran just, you know, I'm going to run straight and then I'm going to turn left, he would not have all this space. And then he's able to get some yards after the catch. He's able to really get some yards after the catch. And if this tight end, Kenny Yaboa, was able to, to get a better block, this might be six. And this should be literally in, like, the route running university tape. Like, the receiver university tapes, wherever the receivers go to get their receiver degrees, this should be there. This is this is a sluggo here. And it's just the, the change of direction is just elite at this point. It's elite. And... Again, shame on me for ever doubting this dude. Shame on me for ever doubting this dude. Look how this corner is biting down because he completely sells that he's running a slant route. There, there's no bones about it. He's running this slant, and he's going to just take this vertical. And look at this point. It's, it's like NBA mixtapes. It's like hoop mixtapes where you got him completely out of position because you sold the slant completely. Eliza Moore runs these routes full speed. He's running a slant full speed, and he's looking at the quarterback. He's looking. I mean, you cannot teach this any better. He's looking at the quarterback because he's running a slant route. He's not running a sluggo at this point. He's running a slant route. And then he takes this vertical. Now he's running vertical. Now he's vertical. And how do you keep up with this? Right here, we got Elijah Moore again in the slot just to show you where he is. He's going to run another crosser. This is what you basically do against man coverage. You run crossers. You use your speed to your advantage. So this is exactly what Elijah Moore is going to do. You're just going to just watch him just get vertical here and then take this across the field. 
And watch how he kind of turns up field like he's going to turn this into essentially a route right down the middle of the field. And then he just sinks his hips, takes this outside, and that's what gets him open. And I wanted to show you this play because this is one of the few times you see him go up, get vertical, and snatch the ball out of the air. Now, you got Elijah Moore right here towards the bottom of your screen in the slot. This is something that I don't like. I just don't like it, man. I value blocking from receivers a lot. I'm someone who's a Giants fan, and Sterling Shepard is an exceptional blocker. Odell Beckham was a pretty good blocker. And I've watched long touchdowns, especially with Saquon Barkley, even with, you know, Odell in the back, in, in the back you know, in the last couple of years. Uh, you know, pretty much all of your long touchdowns are because wide receivers, especially speedy guys like this who are going to be down the field, are making great blocks downfield. And I'm not asking you to level people. I'm just asking you to give some effort. Or maybe I'm being not fair on him and he just is giving effort and he doesn't have the strength. This is a no-no for me. You're going to see him, this ball is going to go into the flat, just a regular flat and to the running back. And I kind of expect number one to help Elijah Moore a little bit. He's trying to block here and he's just getting leveled. He's just getting leveled. And the play is pretty much shut down because of this receiver not getting, not getting his block. This is pretty much what happened. It's, it essentially gets shut down completely because this DB is just not allowing Eliza Moore to, to get any ground. So this play gets shut down because of it. So that's just something that I would just keep in mind. I mean, I don't need all of my receivers to be, to be Zach Martin or to be Quentin Nelson, but I just want to see just that you can at least hold the fort. So you got Eliza Moore right here at the bottom of your screen. And this is just a, an example of just, I can accelerate and decelerate faster than you, and then I can accelerate again faster than you. This is nothing special. It, it's just exactly what makes Elijah Moore, I think, a special receiver, is that he can accelerate at 1,000 miles an hour, and then he can decelerate to almost zero miles an hour, and then accelerate again and just leave you. And that's is exactly what he does. He just leaves him right here. Just to give my quick wrap-up, about Elijah Moore. This is a, he's an electric receiver. He is a small receiver. And that's something to keep in mind. He's not a 5'10 or 5'11 small receiver. He's a 5'9 guy. He is 188 pounds. We got a guy, Devontae Smith, who's 170, who's about four inches taller. But that's a whole different story. He doesn't have the, I don't think he has the upside of a Devontae Smith. Elijah Moore you, you have to kind of keep that in, in, in question. Can he survive the NFL? Now, he's pretty much done a good job of surviving college, but he's not a guy that likes to mix it up and, and get physical. He's just not. So that's my those are really my cons for him. He's not the guy that, that that's going to get physical with you. He, he's probably someone that's going to get pushed around, and that's something that concerns me. Now, you can solve that by, you know, making sure he's not your ex. He's never going to be an ex. I, I don't see him being an ex in, in the league. He's probably going to be on the slot. Probably will be a, a Z. Probably will be lined up off the line more often than not. That That's something that, that I think about. Other than that, Eliza Moore has really good speed. I'm not going to say that he's one of those guys who's the fastest in the league or even be in the top 10 fastest players in the league. He's not a... a you know, crazy, crazy, fast, ridiculous fast. He's not. But he is very fast, and he can make a lot of big plays because of that speed. Uh, and he does have exceptional start-stop speed, which probably will be towards the top of the receivers in the league in the NFL, his ability to start and stop quickly. And he's a very nuanced route runner. There's, there's tapes of him running routes in high school. I mean, like, destroying kids in high school. So he's a very nuanced route runner. He knows what he's doing. He's smart. Uh, you know, he, he makes sure that he's selling his routes. I've never seen – I haven't seen many, I'll say that. I haven't seen many receivers in college football that are able to sell routes the way that Elijah Moore does. He runs his routes 100%. When he runs a sluggo, as I said, he runs a slant before he turns that into a go. When he runs a hitch route – he runs that hitch route. When he runs a hitch and go, he runs that hitch route, and then he goes. And then his transitions are very smooth. 
that part of his game is going to be very exciting to watch in the NFL. I don't know where he'll go. I think he is a second round prospect. Anywhere in the second round, he's game to go. Eliza Moore is an interesting receiver, and I think he'll be pretty good in the NFL. Uh, I don't know how quickly, but I think his skill set should translate well. I think he'll be able to run a lot of routes to be able to get open. So you guys let me what So you guys let me know what you think of Elijah Moore. I think he's a, a fun receiver to watch. So if you made it this deep into the video, I'm calling you a D6 squad member. If you're a D6 squad member, you gotta hit that subscribe button. You gotta turn on that notification bell. And listen, I make all kinds of content for NFL teams. So if you're not a Giants fan, don't worry. I'll cover your team. If I'm not covering your team, let me know and have a good one. Thank you.